Yeah, yeah, there is. I don't think he has the They have the best tailgates of any. Well, last week we worked on 10 pages and the record They all were four coats, ties. Nice. I mean, you have crystal. I was tired. The southern flag. It's very, very southern. Oxford is very old south. Father, we thank you for your love and your never-ending, never-dying love to us and devotion. Father, thank you for taking care of us. We thank you for this city that you have given us to live in and you have placed us in responsibility for and to lead and to guide and to do what is right. Father, we pray that your guidance would constantly be with us both day and night and while we sit here or whether we're at home, that you would help us to always choose what is best for the citizens of our fair city. And Lord, we come before you in your son's name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the lead Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Are there any announcements of community interest at this time? Mayor Pro Tem, I move that the cons consent items be accepted as presented. Okay, we have a motion. I'll second that. Second. Yeah, we'll consider the consent items as presented. Okay. 
All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? None. Certainly there are none. <coughs> the motion will stand approved. Item 6.1 is considered uh, resolution number 2019-18, approving WEDC fiscal year 2019-2020. Giving you all a copy. Um, we have uh, when we had adopted, uh, not adopted, when we had approved the UBC budget, it was uh, the sales tax was projected at what we currently had. But things that we released in our budget, it showed to project higher. And so I had done ours in accordance and did not go back and change EDC just because they had already approved it. This is just a logistics bill. So I did go in ahead and bump their revenues up to 10000 which would match up with the third and two-thirds that the city and EDC did. So that is the only changes that were made to that. Um, okay. Any questions? I do have a comment. Um, and I would like to just go on record that uh, I still believe that EDC should fund um, $5,400 for was WCIC, but no longer it's WCEDC, um, which is Wood County Industrial uh, Wood County Economic, 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 Economic Development. Development. Sorry, my mind just went blank. Um, Especially in view of the fact that $8,500 was just awarded to different four different organizations uh, in Winsboro with money coming from uh, HOT funds throughout Wood County. Um, you know, ever since I've been representing this city on economic development and on this council, we've always contributed to, to uh, WCIC, and I would just like it go, to go on record that I still um, think that we should be investing in return for our investment. Okay, thank you. I move that we uh, accept the uh, WDC fiscal year budget 2019 to 2020 as presented. Is there a second? No second. We have a motion and a second that uh, we uh, approve resolution 2019 18 approving the WDC. Fiscal year 2019-2020 budget. Mayor Pro Tem might call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. No. Individual vote. Oh, I'm All sorry. Right. Okay. Okay. You do vote too. Okay. Aye. Aye. Do I have to call their names? Yes. No. Okay. Aye. No. Consider ordinance number 1013-2019, adopting the annual budget for the city of Winsboro. Mayor mm Pro -hmm. um, we made one final adjustment to this um, uh, proposed budget since our last meeting, and it is just a, if we go in ahead and approve or not approve, approve the personnel policy, this is just allowing the money in the budget whether it's spent or not. It is going to be used to fund balance no matter which way we go with it. Um, we just figured we would go ahead and put it in here. And then if it is approved, great. If it is not, then we don't use the funds. The funds are still in fund balance. Um, outside of that, there's been no other changes made to the proposed budget since our last meeting. Are there any uh, questions? questions or comments? Yeah, 
comment. Um, I think that longevity pay is um, is very deserving of um, our employees that have stayed with us for a long time. And uh, however, it is a budget item and not something that should um, necessarily be in the personnel handbook, according to our attorney who I have, have talked with. Um, and the reason for that is that for some reason, maybe the funds aren't available in a budget year to make that kind of longevity pay. If we tie it in with the um, personnel handbook, then you've got to go and revise the personnel handbook. It can be a budgeted item this year, next year, whenever, um, and be presented as that and be accepted by that as the council. And that's my opinion. That's the opinion of the uh, attorney, city attorney. I have a question. What what are the what are the, the, the cons of it not being a budget item? Well, the cons of it for not being a part of the budget at this point in time would mean that we would have to go back if, should the council approve it mm -hmm. later on, approve it as part of the personnel handbook, mm -hmm. um, then we would have to go back and amend the budget at a later date. That would be the only thing. This way, it ensures that that the funds are are there and can be used for that. And it can be done this way or the way that Council Member Morris suggested. Mm -hmm. uh, the, it's a relatively small amount. I can hardly imagine a situation rising to where we <coughs> can have $12,000 available in any budget year to be able to uh, place it as a part of a part of the budget or to keep it in the employee handbook. That's totally to the discretion of the Council. And the fact that it, it is provided as as an as a um, a benefit, um, and all the other benefits are discussed in the handbook. Mm -hmm. We felt like it was appropriate to have it in the handbook. And again, we're not talking about a forty or fifty or a hundred thousand uh, dollar benefit. We're talking about something that's five dollars per month per employee. Well, if we did do it like if we did do it in a, a <clears throat> putting it into the budget. Wouldn't we have to go back and put all the other benefits in the budget? They are. They are already, oh, they're already there. Oh, yes. They're already yes, there. They are. They're already yes. there. This is the only one. The only reason that we did this was that we want. We didn't want to bring the handbook to this meeting. We didn't feel like we were ready for. It. There were some things that the department heads uh, we were still negotiating on, wanting to change and wanting to add. But we wanted to ensure that that. Once, and we hope to have that to you by the, we mm -hmm. plan to have it to you by the November meeting. And uh, we felt like if we had the, gone ahead and added this into the budget now, that it would be available, uh, you know, for, for uh, expenditure in November. Because the handbook calls for those, those the, the longevity pay to come out the, the second, second pay, pay period, period in November. In November. Yes. Um, which is pretty traditional in other mm -hmm. cities that I've dealt with where they've done a longevity benefit. Mm -hmm. It usually gets right about that time. Um, so, but that's, again, that's that's totally up to y'all. We just yeah. felt like it was important to go ahead and include it. And I, I have a kind of follow up to that too. Uh -huh. um, what, so what if we, if we, since this is new to us doing it, because we haven't had longevity pay before, I mean, I, and I, I think I see both sides of it actually, and it, uh, either way, uh, would it would there be a problem that we make a note or something that we put this that we that we do go ahead and we put this in here? Of course, it would be in in, in th this handbook just like everything else would be in there. But then our next time that we do budget, that we just we would go in to make it a. An item that's actually Plus a line item. Yes, it is a line item. Yeah, yeah we can that. To the new budget. Yeah, it, can, yeah. It, it, can, it can be that way, and it doesn't need to be in the handbook, and we're not approving the handbook tonight. Yeah. So right. if you want to cut out of the handbook, I mean, if y'all want to cut out of the handbook, that's that's perfectly yeah. all right. Okay. 
I think that the department heads and the staff kind of liked it in there, but I yeah. mean, you know, if you that's well, I, I can see question. how if, if I was getting a salary or something like that, I would want it to be there to know that if that was part of the handbook that I'm getting it, and then um, I would want to know that, you know, but then I think I would also want to make sure that it's. Well, an employee, an employee has to be here two years before that yeah, can even Yeah, right. Um, so. so. And again, we're not talking about a substantial amount of money. Yeah. Now, if we were the city of Dallas, we'd be talking about a substantial yeah. amount right, of money. Right, right. <laughs> and the uh, question would be, would it, does that address any concerns? That, well, um, my, my point was that um, it's a budgeted item, and it should be a line item just like you know, salaries or overtime or whatever, and that's what you've done here, yes. and I think that's great, and I fully endorse that. Um, but it's not necessary that it be tied with the handbook, and so what I'm saying is, if we if we approve this budget, then we're also approving the longevity pay line item, and we don't need to um, approve or include into the personal handbook. We've, you know, we've what if, it, let, let me follow up my question, if I could, is that, is that okay? No. okay. Um, uh, would, it, would it be better, if, is there some way that we could do that? Because I, I think it would probably be good to be in there, but um, just so that the employees know that that's just like, I know we don't have to, they, to they, show it as a, but actually they know it's, it's part of their package that they have, that they'll have longevity. And it may not, because I'm sure each person's probably different amount of money. And that is so, something that would probably be explained by the yeah. HR person. Right. You know, when the, the HR person is explaining benefits. Right now, the way, the way it's presented now, though, it's just a line item. Right, right. Yeah. The, hand, right. the handbook bill's a separate issue yeah. for the table. Yeah, yeah. Right. this was the only thing that, you know, in the handbook that it, handbook that affected the budget. So we went on and just put it in there. I mean, we wanted to make sure that, that the long-term was included in this budget. Yeah. But yeah. I understand what you're saying. If we put it in the benefit package for the personnel manual, it has to be paid every year, whether we have the funds for it or not, because that is a benefit for the employees. And I completely understand what you're saying. And it should be like that. Well, that's we make sure for a later that. time. <laughs> this is that's, budget, so we'll yeah, worry about we that. About that. You want to, and we can do this however y'all want to. Y'all just tell me how we need to do it. So if we approve it as it is now, it'll be included as a line item in the budget. Yes. Okay. All right. The funds would be yes. there to pay the longevity pay. And we would be equipped to pay And it's $12,760 is the total on it. For all. $12,760. Yes, yes. So it's in that added new yeah. Yeah. budget. Yeah, we have. Mayor Pro Tem, I move that the City Council approve resolution number 2019-18, approving the, the, oops, that's oh, the wrong six one. Point two. The six point two. You've got the wrong one up there. Angie, did you put the right Can't motion up there? I can go ahead with it. It's just a different number. Uh, Mayor Pro Tem, I move that the council approve ordinance number 1013-2019, approving the fiscal year budget for October 1st, 2019, and ending on September 30th, 2020. And I'll second that. We have a motion and a second to adopt the annual budget. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? There are none. And again, Dana, I would like to thank you very much for the budget. <coughs> a lot of hard work into it this year. Well, I appreciate y'all's help with it. And we've gone like back and forth so. with figures. So yes, thank you very and much. Thank you for answering all my phone calls. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, item 
6.3, I consider approval of ordinance number 1014-2019, levying the ad valorem tax rate of the City of Winsboro, Texas for the fiscal year 2019-2020. Okay, we have um, proposed our tax rate as what our current tax rate was this past year, um, was the 0.5663 and we would like to adopt that tax rate again this year. Any questions? The ordinance reads that it's levy. And the first section one it does. It actually states okay. that the okay. first line is the changing it every year. Mm -hmm. 
Is this the wording that was provided by Carol? Um, this is what our local government said. What we've done in the past. But when we raised the tax rates, you know, I think it's if we raise it above what the current rate is, I think we're good at It's only generating more revenue because the appraisals are right. That's yes, exactly correct. correct. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's not a raising I'm above sorry. the effective rate, it's above. <clears throat> yeah, we're good. Anyone who wants to present business to the city council at th that meeting on, uh, on the 8th must submit a completed request to be placed on the agenda to city hall by uh, 12 p.m. on Monday, eight days prior to the meeting. Meeting adjourned. Oh, work for, work for you. <laughs> I don't know much about food. I know how to put them in after that order. That's about it. The auto trail is just a new one. That's all for you. That is. 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 Yeah, <laughs> 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 a library in time.